I know there's times in your life when you kind of wake up and go, what am I doing? <laughs> Several years ago, I got into the Screen Actors Guild. And life was good. I had a good job, good family. And after that happened, my mom retired and had moved to Vancouver. And I'm Canadian. So said, let's all go to Vancouver. So we all came up to Vancouver a year later and got settled. And I had a job lined up six figures and was still able to pursue my acting career. And then that job fell through. After the interview, they dissolved the position. And everything started to fall apart. And I lost my car, lost everything I had invested. And most importantly, I think I lost my, my hope, my confidence in myself. And at one point, I saw a homeless guy. And for the first time in my life, I saw this homeless guy not as a guy to be pitied or as a guy to feel sorry for or even as an opportunity to give. I saw it as a guy that was living my future. And I seriously asked the question for the first time in my life, is this me? Is this my future? And then something shifted. And I thought, no one's coming to rescue me. It wasn't my fault that I didn't get the job. It wasn't my fault that all these things happened to me. At least I didn't think so. But I also knew that nobody was coming to save me from the victim that I had become. And so I thought, well, what do I do now? I have to become my own hero. And that began a journey of getting my mind right, watching YouTube, listening to videos, listening to what kind of music I'm changing. Who do I hang out with? What kind of friends do I hang out with? And, and I met a, a business owner who we got involved in a business uh, selling services. And I started to get a little bit successful with it, make a little bit of money with it, but I kind of hit the ceiling. I hit this point where it's like, yeah, it's still just part-time money. You know, I'm doing full-time work for part-time money. And I had gotten another job. So it was kind of like now finally starting to pay the bills a little bit. Things were starting to get a little bit better. But one of my mentors, and it was a team of people together, and I was new. I was new at this entrepreneurship kind of thing and building my own business. Or, or I didn't even know what I wanted. I was just selling new services. And one of the mentors said, if you don't love what you do, you're not going to make any money. Now, he did it in a way to say, you got to love what you do. You better start loving what you're doing. And I am forever grateful for them as mentors in my life to change my mindset, to show me what it's like, to show me that I'm valuable, that I have worth. They took a chance on me and it worked. But when he asked that question, I don't think it got him the response he wanted. Because I hung up the phone and I thought, I don't love doing this. So thankful from everything I learned from that. But I don't want to do this forever. And that began the transition of saying, what do I want to do? Can't become an astronaut. Can't become a baseball player. I got an acting and speaking background. And I started to learn about coaching and life coaching and public speaking coaching, which I had already done before. And I have a public speaking business. I'm an international public speaker. And I'm a top 10 public speaking coach, according to Yahoo Finance. And so what I've done is I've created a program and it was inspired by these struggles that have gone through my life. And it's called Amplify Your Story. And if you're one of these entrepreneurs, one of these creative professionals that want to make a difference in the world, then this program is for you because it increases your focus by changing the story inside your head. I know all too well how changing the story inside your head can change your life. It increases 
your ability to connect with others in a genuine way to create trust and be remembered. People can leave and go, I remember that person. I feel good about talking to that person. I want to start a relationship with that person, business or otherwise. And lastly, if you're like me and you wake up in the morning and you're motivated by wanting to change the world, making a difference in other people's lives, making the world more positive during the day. So when you go to sleep at night, you can rest and say to yourself, I made a difference today. If you're that type of person, then Amplify Your Story is for you. And you can find it at amplifyyourstory.ca. Thank you.